Apple patches a major security bug, Anchor drops their new wireless headphones, and a YouTuber teaches us how to mine crypto using a Commodore 64. What's going on guys, welcome back to the show. My name is Abel with MEO Tech Bytes, here to bring you some of the latest tech news. So Apple recently released the Mac OS 11.3 update and with it came a patch to a major security bug that allowed the infamous Slayer malware to bypass existing protections. This bug was reported by security engineer Cedric Owens who took to Twitter to say, kudos to Apple for quickly fixing the bug I reported to them, here's my blog that delves into how I weaponized this bug with a payload. The patch isn't acknowledged on the support document on Apple's website, but Apple has confirmed through TechCrunch that the bug has been squished to the 11.3 update. On top of that, the update includes a slew of new features and enhancements. These include a new hello screensaver, new emojis, hibernation support for M1 Max, support for keyboard, mouse, and trackpad games that are compatible with controllers, and finally the ability to set the default audio output on your Mac to a HomePod stereo pair. For a full breakdown of this update, check out our article at makeuseof.com linked below. So Anchor just released their newest line of headphones, the Q35, which is essentially an update on their previous model, the Q30. The new model is set to deliver high resolution wireless audio as well as a pretty substantial battery life. The high resolution audio is the result of the proprietary LDAC Bluetooth codec. In its optimum mode known as best effort, LDAC switches between bit rates of 330, 660, and 990 kilobytes per second depending on the connection strength. At its peak, LDAC can deliver up to three times more data than a regular Bluetooth connection, ensuring crisp and clear audio. Now when it comes to battery life, Anchor claims up to 40 hours of playback time with active noise cancelling enabled and up to 60 hours with it turned off. The Life Q35 wireless headphones also feature multi-mode active noise cancelling, which allows you to switch between three different active noise cancelling types, indoor, outdoor, and transport. Each active noise cancelling mode comes with different levels of noise blocking and transparency, helping you tailor your audio experience to your local environment. Finally, Anchor is included in ambient mode where you can listen to different forms of ambient noise such as wind, chimes, rain, waves, all found within the Soundcore app. So overall, a pretty impressive set of wireless headphones that you can get on Amazon right now for the price of $130 US. And lastly, we've got a pretty interesting story surrounding whether or not you can mine crypto with your Commodore 64. According to YouTuber 8-Bit Show and Tell, as spotted on Tech Radar, it is wholly possible to mine crypto using one of your Commodore's most popular home computers, the Commodore 64. But before you dust off your C64, it is important to note that you will most certainly not be making money in the process. There are several reasons for this as explained within the video. To start, the C64 is incapable of performing the complex 32-bit calculations required to mine crypto efficiently. Secondly, the energy required to mine the crypto is obviously going to cost you money, and while this can vary depending on your location, it will almost certainly be more than what you are making. So while not profitable, I still recommend watching 8-Bit Show and Tell's video on this as it does contain a lot of fascinating information on crypto mining. And with that comes the end of today's video guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. My name is Abel with MEO Tech Bytes, and we will catch you in the next one.